Discussing a very serious topic, sexual assault, and how survivors and their families could seek legal assistance. Joining us is attorney Erin Martinson. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's very timely, this conversation, talking about sexual assault and individuals' legal rights. Let's first talk about the prevalence of sexual assault. So um, in Texas, one in three Texans experienced sexual assault over their lifetime. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then American, um, Americans experience sexual assault every 98 seconds. So in the time that it takes for us to do this interview, I'd say two to three people will be sexually assaulted. That is very, very unfortunate. And what's even more sad is that many people don't speak up, right? It's true that people don't speak up because they're shamed, they're mm -hmm. embarrassed, um, they're worried about repercussions, retaliation from the person who's harmed them. There are many, mm -hmm. many reasons why people don't speak up. Okay, and then now let's talk about solutions. There are some. You're with the Legal Services here in town, right? Correct. I work for Texas Legal Services Center. Mm -hmm. And what do you do there? I manage our crime victims program. Okay. Um, and one of the components of that program is a hotline for survivors of sexual assault. It's called the LASA hotline or legal aid for survivors of sexual assault. Okay, and is it your recommendation that individuals who may not be able to physically go somewhere maybe call into that hotline possibly? Absolutely, they okay. can call our hotline. Um, they can also apply for services online. I've found mm -hmm. that um, that lends a bit of anonymity to the process. Okay. Um, but they can apply for free legal aid through our program. Um, we offer legal advice, we offer counseling, mm -hmm. safety planning, and then we connect survivors with resources to help them on the road to healing. All right, and this is a webpage from that, and you can go there and you can get a lot of information. So what's it been like for you to be on the listening side as people are calling in and sharing their stories? There's a range of emotions that you experience. Um, some folks, it's the first time they've ever told anybody about what's happened to mm -hmm. them. Um, and so you can be dealing with somebody who's in crisis right Got at it. that moment. Mm -hmm. um, other folks have healed a bit and are starting to just look at legal options. So really there are a range of um, experiences you have, but every single time um, it's heartbreaking and um, it's, it's, uh, really sad just to hear what they've been through. Wow, so glad they're calling though, and so glad you're there and others are there to help them in their time of need. Erin, thank Absolutely. you so much for being with us this midday. Thank you. 